So Neil McGee, what's it like around Maverick Allen this week? Obviously preparing for a for a, a, a county final. I would say there's a nice feeling amongst the group. Uh, within the group, there is just kind of quite enough buzz around the parish at the minute, like. But see the right putting flags up and stuff there last night. So probably buzz will pick up now over the weekend. But it's been fairly low key so far, like. Yeah. A lot of our boys are in Dublin, so. So it's about you don't get together much, you know, during the week. So sports you get your work done at the weekend. Yeah. Well, when you do get together, I take it the ante's up for it then, since the, the, they're not about earlier in the week, is it? Oh, big time, I. So we just need to make most of the weekends mm. when they get get home, like um, the likes of James there, just passing on his way home from Dublin, like so. Um, we just need to make the most of the weekends. I Saturday, Sunday, make every minute count, like because we don't get together much during the week. Yeah. If I was asked you to uh, describe how your, your campaign been so far leading, leading up to the final? It's good here, yeah, we're in the final, <laughs> so yeah. if you can get into a final, that's where you want to be. Like, um, I suppose in terms of farm lanes, up and down, we started well against McCool, but a good enough result, you know. Um, went to Bally Shannon, we were probably in control for the first 35, 40 minutes of that game. They got up and got two goals in two minutes. Like So, you know yourself, when you're behind Ballyshannon, and then they're, they're a hard team to break down, and it kind of suited them then. And, and we picked up results along the way. We had a couple of tough balls out done low. We'd have a mad game with our draw in between, and then probably had a good control performance last week against McCool. Yeah. And that game against McCools, would that be fair to say maybe your best performance of the season, particularly in the first half? Because yous, yous were very good and very controlled. That's the one. I, um, that's what we spoke about against McCools. Like we spoke about young team. Um, we watched the game against Glen Swally. It was kind of a mad game. They were up and down. And, you know, it could have won anyway all through. But we spoke about getting a foothold in the game and maybe getting a bit of control then. And, that's just the way the game panned out. Keep the goals out, and we knew we'd be in with a good shout. Yeah, well, he's running with the shout now. I've got your hands on the on the Doctor Maguire Cup, and he's won it back in 2018. And then he's lost out in that trilogy against mm. against Neve Connell. At that period, he's had a very very talented group, uh, and some might say maybe that Gidor team underachieved, given how 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 good you were. How important is it now that you sort of put that to bed? And you and you step up the next day, and what level of performance is it going to take? I wouldn't say we underachieved yeah. that team as such. Like you know, I suppose we won Ulster. Like yeah. and um, yeah, but following on from that, people thought that this might have been following yeah, listen, that, that that they might have, that thought there might have been more to come. The final the following year, we get the trilogy against Glenties, yeah. and um, we kind of. We kind of deflated us a wee bit and kind of probably spurned them on. They got a lot of momentum from that. And they kind of pushed on the next couple of years where we probably we probably fell flat from it, like, you know, but um lost a lot of players a lot of, a lot of players retired. So that's a different team now, like, you know. Yeah. How many of the team that won Ulster are still involved? Who's playing? Myself, Eamon, Dara, Gary. It was about six or Orange. seven. Uh, it's about six or seven. Still ah, there's Owen McNeilis, yeah. uh, Niall Freel, six, seven, eight. You know, yeah. you know, yeah. a couple of James Boyle, um, Peter, Shane Ferry. You know, they're all featuring mm. regularly. They're all featuring again this year now. But still, it's probably half a team. Like you know. Yeah. What level of performance is it going to take then the next day? Um, do you have to up from where you have sort of peaked so far this season? Do you think? Oh, big time. Yeah. You know, we know what's ahead of us. We're not. Like, we all know that we need to play the perfect game, more or less, you know, and we know what Glenties are going to bring. Like, discipline's going to be key, like, you know, against Glenties, they kind of suck you in, they kind of antagonise you in a way, you know, when you're down and stuff and coming in late, and we kind of have to make sure we don't lose our discipline when that happens. Yeah. Like. You will be seen probably as underdogs for this, given the fact that... Oh, they, definitely, they, they, yeah, they, we are they underdogs, they you know. You don't mind that, do you? No, we're happy yeah. enough, like, but um listen, I'm not I know a final they're on it's on the day, like. Mm. As I said, we're gonna have, nearly have to play the perfect game. Yeah. Well listen, Thanks for talking to us. And then we wish you the very best luck in the final. Yeah.